This is a Japanese twist on face detection. It's called Happy Halloween. Artists, including Daito Manabe here, have combined existing kit, such as a Microsoft Connect, with artistic interpretation. Participants change, or steal, faces by putting their hands in front of whoever is currently being mapped. So, why stop there? What if you could use faces as a canvas for real-time projection mapping, like this? Amazing, isn't it? And yes, it's insanely complicated. So, to get a glimpse behind the tech, I'm going to be made into it. Awesome. Is it time for my paint job? Projecting onto faces with millimetre accuracy takes a lot of programming and prep time. Two hours in makeup for a start. Hiroto-san is covering my eyebrows with wax. They need to be flattened completely. It's not the most fun I've had. It doesn't feel like getting a massage. <laughs> Next, I'm airbrushed to make my face as much like a blank canvas as possible. Now, tiny reflective markers are stuck to my face. This is intricate and time-consuming. These markers have to be precise so the system can calibrate my position and superimpose the projection as accurately as possible. Makeup session finally over, I take a seat in front of infrared cameras. The input from each camera in 2D allows the software to triangulate those marker positions in 3D space. Right, now we know where I am in 3D, it's time for the next layer of software. When I move or turn my face, the 3D position of each marker changes. This becomes the map for how the animation will move with my expressions. Do I look like a robot? Projecting on a moving target is complex enough to take two groups of engineers on two connected systems working in tandem to achieve the desired effect. Now Paul, the developer, is making a few final calibrations to make the shape of my face match the software completely. I am like a living, breathing, screen. Face hacking. I'm also encouraged to close my eyes. Finally, it's time to play the video onto the human screen. For the testing, I can hold up a piece of plastic to see what's being projected onto my face. Mesmerising. We realise it's so interesting to use the face, so if we can improve accuracy, we can do deeper expressions. We can express various emotions like happiness, anger, sadness, pleasure on a human face. We're just at the start of this. So if we can pursue it further, there are even more things that we can express on human faces. So that's something I want to challenge with the Omote project. And if I move during the projection, the visuals follow me around. The full effect, though, is only viewable from the audience position. But now I know what it's like to take part in my electronic transformation. I'll keep watching art and tech interact from any angle. <laughs>